Here's the snap back, and it's a fake. They're running a fake. Confidence, it's an unbelievable thing, isn't it? When you get that first first down in the game, it gives you a little confidence, but maybe most importantly, it gives your coach confidence. Happy Sunday, everyone. Joseph Payne here along with Salem the Cat. It's Super Bowl Sunday here, and we've got an exciting game for you today. This is always such an exciting day in the NFL. <laughs> NFL? I'm not talking about the NFL. I'm talking about something way more fun than real football. What you talking about, Joseph? I'm talking about Newton football! Hello everyone, Bones here along with Salem the Bloody Ghost as we bring you a review of Newton Football League for the Nintendo Switch. This was a game that somehow went under the radar for me when it came to the Switch last October. Originally made for Steam in 2017, FML is the spiritual successor to the Sega Genesis game Mutant League Football. This is a sports game that's all about blood, brutality, insanity, and monsters mixed with strategic football. Think of it as an M-rated Halloween version of NFL Blitz. This game's got some great visuals. The fields and players are well designed to look like different things fitting with the game's themes. There are also good effects for all the plays, tricks, and traps that happen as you play. They make the impact of every tackle more intense. Ow! Just like that! Sound is really a strong suit for this game, with great hard-hitting yet cartoony sound effects and some cool rap and metal music for the menu. The best part are the grim commentators who are way more entertaining than us. Well, it probably helps that they got Tim Kitzrow from the 2012 NFL Blitz game to star as one of the main commentators, Grim Blitzrow. He and the other guys, Brickhead and Bricks Jr. have some hilarious and sometimes crude dialogue you've never hear in the NFL. Airball! Hey, did we start letting ghosts into the NFL, Grim? No, that was just a shitty pass to absolutely no one. FML is as much about chaos as it is about strategy and reflexes. It still plays like a football game at its core, so most of the mechanics will be familiar to people who've played Madden or NFL Blitz. Call plays, move with the control stick, sprint for a bit, pass, tackle, intercept, straight arm, all things you'd expect and they work very well. The main difference being that kicking field goals and punts is about getting the ball to go far rather than accuracy. There's a nice level of strategy as you play like other sports games when you're planning how to get the ball past the defense or planning how to stop the offense. Do you run a blitz? Do you go for a tight coverage looking for an interception? A lot to bear in mind. But on top of that is the mature, over-the-top insanity to spice things up even more than NFL Blitz does. And it's not just that you're playing with teams of skeletons, orcs, demons, aliens, and werewolves. It's what they can do and what can happen to them. Every field has several traps on it like landmines, pits of lava, and yes, even giant worms from underground with an appetite for monsters. Any player unlucky enough to run into one could end up pulled out of the game due to injury or death. That's right, death. You can kill any player in this game, forcing the other team to pull someone else from the bench, or play with a smaller team if too many linebackers are killed, for example. So if you want to bring those players back in Season or Dynasty mode, you'll have to resurrect them before the next game. Of course, players can kill each other in plenty of ways besides luring them into the field traps, which are more on the sides so as not to disrupt the flow of the game too much. Taking a page from NFL Blitz's book, you're free to wail on a player even after tackling him, but that player could also get up and start hitting back until it's time for the next play. It does spice things up since everyone has their own health bar and you can guess what happens when the health bar runs out. This actually does make the game more fun throwing in unnecessary violence that you could never get away with in human football. But you also get a few dirty trick plays too. Some of my favorites were running with a chainsaw or shotgun, turning my defender into a giant, or rigging the ball to explode in the offense's hands. Kinda reminds me of that painting of dead carving a turkey. Grandma, the whole family smiling. Groovy. Different teams get different sets of dirty tricks, but there are a few that everyone can use. You can sack the quarterback, bribe the ref to call bullshit penalties on the other team, or kill the ref because he's making bullshit penalties. But with all these dirty tricks, there's still some strategy because of their limitations. Every trick can only be used once per half, and killing a ref will count as a penalty against you. So you have to carefully decide how and when to use each trick. Altogether, these mechanics make for a fun experience with different ways to play. There's local multiplayer for up to four players, online multiplayer that's simple to set up and runs well, and there are three longer single player modes in Playoffs, Season, and Dynasty. These modes are fairly similar aside from their lengths and details in between games. Season mode plays like an actual football season with playoffs and a Super Bowl, or Mayhem Bowl at the end, while playoff mode is the same thing except with no season games beforehand. Dynasty is a longer mode that was added later. 
It's a mode that puts you in the role of the team manager and coach leveling up the players at every game you win in the hopes of getting your team to the Mayhem Bowl to prove your worth. It's a mode that takes place over five consecutive seasons instead of one. And over the course of those five seasons, you can manage resurrections of dead players, consult trade offers, and manage the team budget. It adds a lot of depth, which is nice, but the problem is the game doesn't explain everything very well. And it's the kind of mode that many players who don't care about the achievements won't feel much incentive to play. But it's there for sports fans looking for a deeper way to live in this mutant football world. If you're searching for a great football game to play on the go and you don't mind or love some carnage in a sports game, this is the ideal Switch sports game you want. You can download it for $30 or buy a physical copy on Amazon for $20, both of which are reasonable prices for this game. And that's my review of Mutant Football League for the Nintendo Switch. If you like this review, then check out my previous reviews of these other great Switch games, Doom and Rocket League. See you all next time. Oh, welcome to Fumbletown, USA. Population, this guy. Oh, he should be more careful when he hurdles. Touchdown! <laughs>